Right then folks, just climbed over that stile. There was another one earlier. Leaving Piney Slights Farm now, which is in there. And uh, got a couple of fields to go across. I'll make a decision when I get further up whether I'm going across the top and down um, a trackway. I haven't decided yet. Depends on the time. So I don't want to rush. But I would like to get the four o'clock really because, um, you know, getting back and that would be dark and I need to sort my toe out and everything. But I did protect it with, um, with that plaster, is probably drawing on it. That's what normally happens, say draw. Oh, you've got it on video, Sheila. Yeah, got it on video. We just went through there. An old barn over there, look. You can hear the drifting, I think they call it, down the gorge. My granddaughter Daisy's boyfriend, this one, um, James, he's into that, apparently. And the noise you can hear, I, I don't know what sort of vehicles they are, um, whether they're like go-karts or something, I've got a feeling. It must be allowed by the police, it must sort of allow it. It's been going on for ages. But it looks like they've ploughed that field over here, doesn't it? It looks ploughed. It's a field I come through a lot. It looks like it's been well used as well. More than usual, I think. Um, people are getting out, realising they can do circular walks now. Um, people will be up on the gorge watching the drifting from um, some very good viewpoints up there. See, look, see all those people? They're all up there. Even my granddaughter could be up there for all I know. Here's yeah, somebody with a camera, look. What the, what's happened at the moment, those um, vehicles have gone up the top of the gorge, shut up as if you're going to pretty. And then... Um, they drift down or something. I think I've heard, I thought they were going to stop it. I mean, it can't be very stabilising for the rocks, can it? I would have thought it would be dangerous myself. Right, just turn it off a minute. Right then, just climbed over that stile. It's an alternative route I'm following, which does have cows in it. And they could, I'm not saying there ain't any air. So look at that skid there. That's an animal. Is it recent? Have I made an error? Yeah, I like to do this, but I, that does look quite sort of recent, doesn't it? You know, look, look how recent that looks. Might have made a mistake doing this. It could be all down here, look. Looks very recent hoof prints. Yeah, that's not old pack either. Could have made an error coming this way now. I wouldn't have thought, I didn't think they'd be out, the cows tell the truth. I can't run uphill, that's all I know. Yeah, this is a, an alternative way back to Cheddar I do at least once a year. I had no, I, I hope the cows aren't here, but that looks relatively fresh cow pack and f relatively fresh hoof marks as well. I have walked here when there's been cows and they just ignored me, they were in the bushes. But they did have a bull. But so far, so far it looks alright. So far. They just look so fresh, those hoof prints. They do walk around in a circle, some of them. 
They don't look like they've been a week old or nothing like that. It looks very recent. And what I'm going to do in a minute, when I get, I'm going to go through a couple of fields and then I go onto a road, a little tiny, tiny road that leads around the quarry area. And um, that's when I'll take these trousers off. That's a badger's hotel, I call it there. Lots of badger holes, huge set here, great big set. I know we go past some shrubs in a minute where the cows like sometimes hang out. This is only in the summer though, but look how recent that is. They could all be down the lower end there. If that's the case, I'll just zoom across this field because down there is a way to cheddar. But my, I mean, my usual route is down there. Now we just see what happens a minute. And we won't look at the watch till we get to the final place before the track. I mean, they, they might, might go in there or something. Don't know. I do avoid cows, as you know. Wasn't expecting anything to be out, to tell you the truth. But you never know. Farmers are changing their tactics because of the weather's changing all the time. Now, we're, what happens when we get on this lane, I mean, it's easier going down than up it. So obviously you've got more breath going down. But if something just disturbed me now, then I would have to think about getting the next bus, the five o'clock. I mean, I have got that as backup, don't forget. There's two buses. But I prefer to do the four, because it's going to be five hours past by the time I get home, even going on for six. So far, yeah, I've, seen, I've passed cows and they've been in, like in the bushes here. And it's looking a bit fainter now, this bit. I'm putting on a bit of a spurt. Pack there. Oh, look at the pack here. I mean, they might have been taken in to be milked. You know? Look at all that, all that pack. They can't be around. I hope they're not in the final field. Oh, God. They could be in the bushes watching me saying, there's that silly woman who's scared of us. When you've been chased like I have, Now if you come face to face with them now, you best just keep walking, sure. I just think, see that as the escape route, girl. Just keep walking. That's why I'm keen to get out of here now, because I don't know where they are. Another sheep dip. There's another sheep dip there. Oh, well, I can see my track now and the gate. I'm nearly there now. I still got to walk down through Cheddar, don't forget, as well. 
this is just skirting. It's a safer route back, back down, especially because my toes are a bit tender. And I want to take my trousers off. I want to take these off and get the cheese and crack, crackers out. I forgot I could have brought a tomato today. Piney slights. This is still piney slights, by the way. Or it might even be described as cheddar gore, which I can't remember at the moment. Let's have a look. Cheddar cliffs. Cheddar cliffs. Right, so what, this is the style I'm going to get over. I've explored some of this wood before, and I've been up round and been in the old quarry. Um... So all I'm going to do is just head down. So I'm going to have something to eat on the way down now. Overnight.